So what is going on guys, NandoBrand73 here with another video and today we're going to talk about iPadOS 14 and how to install it onto your iPad, you know, iPad Pro or, or iPad. Because uh, basically my most requested video in the last 24 hours since I released my iPadOS 14 revealed video. Uh, but just to let you guys know, if you guys are wondering what iPad device, you know, is eligible for the iPadOS 14 upgrade, we're going as low as iPad Air 2. So I'm looking here, that's iPad Air 2, iPad Air 3, Mini 4, Mini 5, iPad 5 through 7, uh, then the 9.7, 10.5, and then all the iPad Pros that have ever come out down to the first gen one that came out in 2015. So that lets you guys know that we have pretty much six years of compatibility here down to the iPad Air 2. So if you have all the way down to that, it is eligible to upgrade to iPad OS 14, but let's hop right into the video on the how-to. Just a, a quick little reminder before you guys actually update, especially if you have an older device or if this is your main device. iPad OS 14 is still in beta one. It has just released less than 24 hours ago. We're not expected to get a real public release probably until September, right? That's about, how many months is that? So it's at least two months away, maybe three months away before we get a final solidified version of iPad OS 14. So definitely do this at your own risk. It could mess up at your device. I took the risk. So far it's okay. It's a little bit buggy and we'll touch on that on a bunch of different videos as we go along. But just keep that in mind. Make sure that your device is backed up if you really care about anything that's on there. If it's your main device, you know, be warned that it is very glitchy and during the update process something could happen that'll mess it up. But for me, I haven't had any issues with any beta software pretty much ever, just letting you guys know that. But I did want to give you guys that, you know, little reminder, just so you don't blame me if you do update to iPadOS 14 and it doesn't work. And again, I would highly recommend to maybe think about it a little bit more if it's a much older device or if it's your main device. But now that I got all that out of the way, let's jump into the top overview or top down view to uh, show you guys how to install this thing. So let's go. So guys, this is how I'm gonna show you how to install iPadOS 14 now, right? So as you guys can see, I am running iOS for iPadOS 14. We go into the settings, go to the about. You can see that we're on version 14.0, version V, right? So this is like the first, first, first beta one version that has ever come out to any public, you know, de or any developer basically, right? And this is pretty much what you see. I mean, for the most part, it looks the same, but what I'm gonna show you guys is how to actually install it. So. First thing you gotta do is remove any profiles from your account, right? So you go into general, you can see if you do have a profile installed, you'll see this little profile section right here pop up and you can see that I have the iPadOS 14 beta software, profile beta software profile installed, right? So basically what that allows me to do is get over the air beta updates. And I'll show you guys how to get that profile. But if you do have another one, you know, for example, I had the public developer profile for the betas for iOS 13, iPadOS 13, so I had to remove that in order to get this done, right? So remove that. And then if you did have one, then restart your device. You know, I always like to restart my device whenever something internal changes and a profile is an internal change. So I recommend giving it a restart if you did get rid of a profile that was previously there. If not, ignore everything I just said and now follow along. So what you're gonna do is go to developer.apple.com slash downloads, right? And it'll take you to this page right here. But again, you will only get access to this page if you are a paid developer. And the difference between paid developer, public developer, and then you know just the public is, public, they get all the releases, obviously, when Apple wants to release them to the public. Public beta developer is what I was for the last year. Basically, it's a free membership to test out beta softwares, but you're pretty much at a two week lag time when it comes to getting the actual software, especially in the beginning, right? In the beginning, everything is pretty much two, three weeks separated. So for instance, yesterday, paid developers got access to iOS 14 and iPadOS 14, but public beta developers won't get it until probably early July. My guess is probably July 5th or 6th, that Monday after July 4th. So you are gonna have to be waiting about two weeks for this. So in order to become a paid developer, just go into the account, enroll into it, it's $99 a year. You can do auto renew, you can do it manual renew. And this is the first time I'm doing it. Usually it says, it said that it was gonna take about two to four weeks to take into effect, which really upset me. But then half an hour later, I got an email that I was good to go. All right, and you have your developer profile paid for and ready to go. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. If I go into accounts, this is what you're greeted with. This is the kind of account that you have. I am an Apple developer, I'm part of the Apple developer program. And again, you just, Go into Google, type in Apple Developer Program, enroll, and it'll let you enroll. You can see that here's my membership. I'm not gonna show you guys my team ID and anything like that, but that's what we're dealing with. But then once you have that, you go into developer.apple.com 
slash downloads. And again, you're greeted here and you get the operating systems and the applications. For us, we just want this iPad OS beta right here. All you do is press install profile. And then here is where you're going to press allow. Mine's already installed, so I don't want to mess it up, but I'm going to press ignore, but you press allow, right? And then once that happens, and if you come over to your settings, go to general, you scroll to the bottom, it'll bring you to your profile and it'll ask you if you want to allow the profile to be installed, you press yes. And then you get the profile installed. And then after that, give it a, you know, a few minutes, maybe restart the device one more time. And then once you go into software update, then 14.0 will be ready to download. So that is what we're dealing with when it comes to downloading the actual beta software. And again, it's a beta one. So be ready for some glitches and, and some things like that. Like for instance, I am not in Cupertino. I don't know why it's saying that I'm in Cupertino. Uh, when yesterday it said I was in Bayonne, as you guys saw with my screenshot, right? So it's still very glitchy when it comes to all the widgets and things like that. For instance, you know, if, if you scroll to the bottom, the widget little button isn't there to add a new widget, but I digress. That's how you install iPadOS 14.0 beta one on any of the iPads that I mentioned before. And that is how you update to iPadOS 14 guys. So obviously we were a little bit disappointed at all the features that, that were released. I'm gonna do an iPadOS 14 total overview to kind of talk about all the different, you know, bits and pieces of it. And then I wanna do one final, you know, revise, like everything you need to know about the iPadOS 14 a little bit before the actual, you know, GM is released uh, later in September, maybe late August, right? But I'm definitely gonna show you guys a little bit more over the videos that go on, but this is how you update the iPadOS 14. The, um, if you do wanna update the iOS 14 or, or any other of these beta softwares, it's the same process, right? If you wanna do tvOS, watchOS, macOS, or iOS, it's all the same process. Developer.apple.com and go through that process, guys. And also just keep in mind that you might be a public developer, which is what I was before you know, being a paid developer. And the paid developer membership is $100 a year versus the public developer is free, but everything is pretty much, especially in the beginning, it's about two weeks delayed, but then as you go farther along and farther along, they're pretty much only a day or two apart. You know, by the end, I got, I got iPadOS 13.4 pretty much 12 hours after the regular beta was released. So just keep that in mind, guys. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully it's helped somebody out to get iPadOS or iOS installed on their device and you know, enjoy it. Leave some comments below as to what you did. You know, follow me on Twitter. I'm sharing all my screenshots of my home screen, all the widgets that I'm using, would love to see yours. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time.